Hello. This is. Did you press the button? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you stole my line, bastard. <laughs> oh, that Halkin. Back when they were called Halkin. <laughs> oh my God! It's a it's a giant blimpin scar. So what the fuck is this game? This is Kirby no Kira Kira Kizu, which was only released on the Super Famicom, and it is a Super Famicom version of Kirby Star Stacker that was on the Game Boy. Did you ever play? Let's go. Did you ever play that one, Star Stacker? I have not. Uh, the only Game Boy Kirby games I owned back in the day were Kirby's Dream Land 1 and 2. Oh. Uh, yeah, you're not missing much by skipping, <laughs> by skipping Star Stacker. Block Ball was a good spin-off, though. So, we're going to be doing the story mode, which the Game Boy game didn't have one. So, yeah, the Game Boy game, you had to have two cartridges in order to play two players. So. <laughs> That's pretty erotic. Yeah, so that's... Well, but... A story that I can't read. <laughs> Happy little star. Happy little star, yes. And boom, <laughs> shout down with a cannon. In your mom. And then uh, the star died. <laughs> and you can see uh, King DDD's original design in this. The, uh, before he got all fat, like, even fatter. <laughs> fat penguins are evil kids. Yeah, King Dedede's design was friggin' weird in uh, Kirby 64. He had like a <laughs> he had like a beak and stuff. It, it looked really weird. Uh, mm hmm. I, I didn't always strike King Dedede as a bad guy. It was more just a yeah lazy fat bastard who wanted to eat everything. Yeah, he's never really been a bad guy. I wish they would have him be the bad guy for like one game though. <laughs> like every no, no, the bad, yeah, no, the bad guy's gotta be nice. If you don't count Return of the King and Superstar Ultra. And if you don't count the spin-offs, he's been the main villain in one game. <laughs> Dreamland. Is this really a Tetris game? It is a puzzle game, and it's the most fucked up puzzle game you'll ever see. You won't know what the fuck is going on throughout this whole LP. <laughs> oh darn, you had me all excited, I thought we were gonna do a Kirby Little Adventure game, we're doing puzzles. Oh. No, it's a puzzle game, don't worry, it's only two parts though, I think I, that... <laughs> I hope your brain can right. handle it, though. It's it's madness. It's basically just right. a giant colorful slot machine. Oh, and I beat him already. <laughs> the hell? Let's play some Tetris, motherfucker! Aw, poor one. Haha, <laughs> 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 you got hit in the head. And the, uh, these... <laughs> yeah. Wild Deeds are the Goombas. They are. He has his friends from Superstar with him. Ugh. Uh, not Superstar. Dreamland 2 and 3. Or Dreamland 3. Oh, it's fucking do you brain. Know, do you know the, uh, those guys' names? Uh, no, because I didn't bother learning them. <laughs> <laughs> the hamster is Rick, the owl is Koo, and the fish is Kine. That, now, actually, the cat from Dreamland 3, I used to always have a hard time remembering what the hell his name was. It was, a uh, Nego. I saw the best LP of Kirby Dream Land 3. Oh yeah? Who did it? Rao Cal. Oh. Well darn, there goes my... money. I don't know. <coughs> Just because it was random and hilarious to me. I don't know if you'd find it funny, but you need to watch it. He's the he's my favorite Let's Player anyway. Mm. Horror. You're horroring him out. Dude, he deserves it. He's like amazing in a half shell and he makes me come every night. Speaking of whoring out, have you... I, I, I checked out the uh, YouTube. I think this is the first Let's Play of this game, so... First... Oh, oh my god! Now the first comment on this video is gonna be first! Mm -hmm. yeah, so we better make this fucking good. That's why I wanted Zap in here, too. <laughs> but, oh well. Oh, oh, but Zap's a lazy whore, and he doesn't know any better. Uh, you gotta have the Skype call going, because apparently nobody else has a good enough internet connection. <laughs> I do, but I, fuck that. I wanted to do some videos. <laughs> you just want to be with me. What is it with your obsession in me? I just... love you, Pico. One day you will be mine. Typical swirly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor sleepy thing. Poppy Bros. Poppy Bros. Jr., actually, to be precise. Flower! Do you remember that guy's name? The flower? Sun Sunflora! I don't know. Uh, that's lovely. <laughs> How do I know that all this shit? I just do. <laughs> I don't know, I, I don't bother remember- Hell, I have trouble remembering some of the Mario's things. I know what they are, but god damn it, I can't remember their names. So don't, don't even bother asking me. Well, and the funny thing about Lovely, though, is that she- That character actually had a whole episode dedicated to her in the show. Like, this flower fell in love with Whispy Woods. Like, no, uh, Whispy Woods what? fell in love with the flower, and the flower was turned into a monster by King Dedede, and 
They got killed. Oh. So many characters died in that show. It's a fucking yeah. sad show. She, she, she didn't get deflowered by the wood. Uh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I didn't make a joke. Did I? I would never do such a thing. Oh, by the way, it looks like I'm doing incredibly well in this, but it's just because this game look is at, completely look basic. At, look at the sprites. Oh yeah, uh, Kirby Dorks will notice that uh, Kirby has the heart rod with him. That's what he's using to smack Lovely in the face. Take it in your face, bitch! Now, a lot of people are confused about that, if it's called the heart rod or the love love stick, which, uh, I think the love love stick is, like, an uh -huh. American name or a fan name. It's, it's officially the heart rod. Uh-huh, I see. Don't question it! I'm right! <laughs> Hey, 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 Pico, you, you watch your mouth. There may be children watching this. Well, it is a Kirby game, so, yeah, that, I was saying, you shouldn't be in this, there are kids watching. Hey, hey, hey I, the kids love me, though. They, they look up to me as an influence. I love that guy. Yeah. Think of the children, ah, uh, screw the children. Ah, uh, screw the children, literally. Uh. Oh, dear. You sicken me, Pico, don't do that. Oh, and actually, something I didn't even bother mentioning until now is you can see that they're using the Dreamland 3 style of art, which I love. I, I don't care what anyone says, I love the Dreamland 3 style, and I'm glad they brought it back for this. Well, I hate it, I'm just kidding. Oh, look, it's... The fight, dude, he's like... Come on. God damn it, I should know his name, it's... Come on. God damn it, I know it, god damn it. God... Knuckle... <laughs> Knuckle... What's his name? I Joe. can't remember. Knuckle Joe. Knuckle Joe. God damn it, I should know this. He was in Brawl 2, god damn it. Yeah, and he had like two episodes dedicated to him in the show. <laughs> I know, because every time I play Superstar, I suck him up in one stage and just use his fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Knuckle Joe is a really uh, popular character, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, he has to be pretty popular. I, I know he's, like, huge in Japan. You, you look at all this Japanese Kirby fan art, he has, like, a huge page section dedicated to him. Oh, baby, he has a full spread, does it now? And I just killed him. <laughs> That's murder, Pico, to the first degree. Damn, I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> you are. So they had to wheel him off back to hell. It was pretty sad. <laughs> but hell, I'm in the hospital in Dreamland, which can be considered hell because they because they just put rainbows on you and you just get oh uh oh it's a cooking guy. It's Chef Motorcycle. <laughs> oh, I am the chef. Mm. Chef Kawasaki. So everyone, or not everyone, I just thought that up right now. He's like he's Chef Motorcycle. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you suck him up, and then his ability is you just suck all the enemies into the pot. Oh, but, yeah, Cook is, like, the most gruesome ability that Kirby has. He's like, freaking boil these guys alive, turn them into food, and then eat them, when he could just eat them in the first place. <laughs> yeah, now he's got, he's got to do the lobster treatment. <laughs> he's got to make it as painful as possible. It's a brutal ability. That'd be suck, that'd be suck to be a crawfish. Woo! Boil alive and eaten. Yeah. Hey, good lord, just kill the damn things and all. Oh, well, I eat crawfish, so I can't talk. <laughs> yeah, you just said you were eating shrimp for dinner. <laughs> I did, but at least the shrimp are dead when I cook them. So that makes it okay. It is. I steam them, and it's delicious, and sometimes I'll grill them or fry them. It is amazing. The problem with doing a Let's Play on a puzzle game is it's difficult to know what you should be looking at. Should you be looking at the enemy, or you, or what? Uh, I, I, I'm amused by the sprites beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, they are pretty brutal, I guess. Oh, I, I think the most- oh my, Pico, this is awful. Everybody is, like, interrupting me now. They're up. This is the second phone call I've received. Oh, jeez. Well, tell them to screw away. Screw off. Or... The grandma should answer it. Eh. I don't know. It's up to you. Eh, fuck it. I'll call Yay. her back after the episode's over. Yay. <laughs> Sorry, grandma, but Sorry. you can... Hey, she might come across this, so be careful. She'll leave me a voicemail anyway. Okay, so Meta Knight. This is, like, the only guy I lose to, aside from the secret final boss. Just further proving that Meta Knight is always the hardest boss in every Kirby game. Boom, boom. It's because he uses a sword, and he has a little spinning tornado attack, and he flies around the room. It's pretty erotic. And he is a Spanish Dracula-type character, because he has a Spanish accent. I don't even know what accent I'm doing right now. Hello, my name is, uh, Meta Knight, uh... Oh, I'm gonna kill <laughs> I just laughed when when I realized that Midnight's just a blue Kirby. Yeah. I love- there was this one episode of the show where, uh, they were turning all the 
uh, Star Warrior characters into action figures, and Meta Knight, and when the girl told them that, uh, told Meta Knight that he was a figure, he's like, I kind of like that, and he went away laughing, he's like, ha 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 ha, I like that. Was, ha ha ha, to the Smash Inquisition. What? It's completely out of character for Meta Knight, and I always love it when Meta Knight goes out of character in the show. Well, he sounds like a Spanish guy in the cartoon, but in Brawl, he's like, I have a very deep voice. Well, he's... He sounded like a Spanish Dracula in the 4Kids version, and the original version he sounded respectable. Ah, fuck you, Mennonite. Yeah, a deep, a deep voice Kirby is hilarious, opposed to the pink, high-pitched Kirby that's adorable. Oh, some stupid trivia about that uh, Meta Knight icon in the bottom. That's <laughs> actually the official art for Meta, for Meta Knight in Kirby Superstar. Oh my god! You just blew my mind. Yeah, that's actually Meta Knight's official art for Kirby Superstar. <laughs> What's up with that star? Because we because we didn't really see what the story was about. Uh, basically he got shot down, and I think you have to restore like parts of him because you see at the beginning there's like little stars that fell out of him, and that's what you're collecting throughout the story. So. But then Kirby said, "Fucking just shoved a rod up its ass and said, look, I made the star rod.' Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> He's already got the heart rod. He doesn't need the winky star rod anymore. He doesn't destroy it now." Oh, but that was so fucking cool in the show. When I first saw that, I, like, squealed. It's like, Kirby eats the warp star in order to get Star Warp, the Star Rod. That was so fucking cool. It's like, holy shit, that's cool. <laughs> it's pretty cheap. Uh-oh, he took off his mask. I'm a blue Kirby! Oh, they didn't... No, they gotta zoom away from him. So you can't see him up close. Even though we already know what he looks like. Yeah. D-D-D. Ironically, ironically, he has the best Nintendo boss music. I love that uh, picture, by the way. He looks cool. Okay, now before we get started, oh well, just just give it a few seconds. Okay, this song, this actually, most people know this song from Kirby Superstar Ultra when you fight DDD in when you fight Mask DDD in Return of the King. This is where that song came from. <laughs> Holy hell. Yeah, they actually made a reference to Super Star Stacker, which was like the first time they ever did. <laughs> it's crazy. Nintendo games making references to each other? What madness is this? Oh yeah, and by the way, some people just call it Super Star Stacker to differentiate it. That's right. Ah. Kirby, 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 fighting a giant penguin. <laughs> I need a monster to kill, but that day are terrible. Well, well, King DDD, let me get you a monster. <laughs> I saw that video you favored with the freaking macho man. Oh, it's like the best moment of the entire series. I love that. One, two, one, two. Yeah, it's great because there's so much going on in that. You look at other anime, and there aren't, there aren't any anime that have that much movement going on at one time. <laughs> it's an anime, my god. Yeah. You actually, <laughs> you're so adorable. If you actually look up, uh, like, info on the Kirby show, you'll find out that that show had, like, almost twice as many frames of, uh, of animation as most other anime. And with Nintendo's budget, I am not surprised, honestly. Oh god, how am I gonna survive this? With sex and powers. You know, Kirby's pretty violent for being a cute little character. They just, they just hide behind his looks, but he's pretty graphic, like, kill slings. Don't be fooled by his size, you won't believe your eyes. <laughs> He's adorable. He's the super tough pink puff. I love using yo-yo ability, because that's like the most brutal, most violent ability he has. You can just go crazy with yo-yo and be incredibly violent. <laughs> I, I always liked when he would sing with the mic one. Yeah! And one of them's like, Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> 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 me giggle. Yeah. Oh, Mike Kirby is freaking amazing in the show. It's always... It's like his most overpowered attack. He blows up the castle both times he uses it. <laughs> wow. I think that would be the Crash Kirby. Oh, yeah. Well. yeah, Crash Kirby blew up an entire spaceship. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. And there was one with dinosaurs in Crash. I never saw it. I wish I'd Holy seen shit, a blooper. <laughs> this is the end of the part. <laughs> this is the end of the part. <laughs>